Susan Plesschett was born in Brooklyn Heights, New York, on January 31, 1937, to Geraldine and Eugene Plesschett. Geraldine Rivers was her mother's stage name, and she was a dancer and vocalist. Her father was the stage manager and director of the Paramount Theater in Brooklyn, New York City, before becoming the network's top executive. Her parents were Jewish, the children of Russian and Austrian-Hungarian immigrants. She went to the prestigious Neighborhood Playhouse School of Theater in Manhattan, where she was schooled by renowned acting coach Sanford Meisner. She began her profession when she was 20 years old as a performer on stage. She attended Syracuse University for one semester after graduating from Manhattan's High School of Performing Arts before being transferred to Finch College. She made her Broadway debut in Mayor Levin's 1957 play, Compulsion, which was based on his novel Leopold and a Low Case. That same year, she was one of two finalists for the role of Louise Gypsy in the original production of Gypsy during The Breeze and Warmth, and she spent the morning learning how to strip for the role of Gypsy from Jerome Robbins. The next year, she appeared in Harold Clerman and Robert Whitehead's production of S.N. Berman, directed by Harold Clerman and produced by Robert Whitehead at the Sherbert Theater in New Haven, Connecticut. Suzanne Suzanne and Sandra, according to playwright Arthur Lawrence in her memoirs. Sandra was a better artist than Suzanne. Suzanne was a great actor, but Sandra was a better artist. Sandra was our guide. On December 5, 1957, the CBS television series Harbor Master aired the first screen volume starring Barry Sullivan and Paul Burke in the episode Night Redeeming. The Playhouse 90 decoy Have Gun Will Travel, One Step Over the Alfred Hitchcock Presents the Tab Hunter Show, Channing, Ben Casey Naked City Wagon Train episode of the Wild Wild West, and Dr. Kildar, where she was nominated for her first Emmy Award. She starred in a comedy play written by Constance Ford and Tom Poston in 1959. Suzanne's 1964 wedding and vacation to Rome with distant trumpet star Troy Donahue ended eight months later in divorce. Tom Gallagher, her second husband, was her second spouse from 1968 until his death from lung cancer on January 24, 2000. When she married Gallagher, she experienced a miscarriage, and the couple never had children. Suzanne married fellow actor Tom Poston in 2001, but they were romantically connected in 1959 when they starred together on Broadway in Golden Fleece, long before they worked together on television. Poston would finally marry her for the third time. They married and have been friends for the following 40 years. After both of them became widows, their spouses' deaths brought them back together and they married in 2001. They were married until April 30, 2007, when he died of respiratory failure in Los Angeles. They were incredibly close till he died the next year. She also won against Bancroft as Ann Sullivan Macy in The Miracle Maker vs. 14-year-old Patty Dukes as Helen Keller in February 1961. Soon after The Bird's Bloodshed, her film production business, Curtis Enterprises, released a comedy film starring Tony Curtis and Phil Silvers, titled 40 Pounds. Her early film credits included A Geisha Boy Roma Adventure, Fading Hunter, and Young Blood Hawk, but she was best recognized for her performance in Alfred Hitchcock's film Birds at the time. In late 1962, Universal released 40 Pounds of Trouble, the first movie feature ever recorded in Disneyland and marketed abroad. Belgium should be up against Ian McShane and James Garner in two films, the drama Mr. Bud Wing and Western Humor supporting your local shooter. In each of the 1960 TV series, 66 episodes, Refugee Invaders, the FBI, Columbo 1971 and the name of the game on May 19, 1971, you receive a star many times as different characters. 
She appeared in the 1966 Western Nevada drama picture Smith with Steve McQueen and was nominated for a Laurel Award for her role in the comedy on Tuesday. She has appeared in several Walt Disney family films, the most notable of which is Shaggy Duh 1976. She was a big player in 1979's Hottest Act and Oh My Goodness. For comments, Father and Xena were written in a letter to the 1980 Bloodshed. For the Academy Award winning films distributed by Zara in the English drum for Japanese director Hayao Ziyamaki. Simba is proud and signs my lullaby in Disney's second direct picture, The Lion King. Suzanne was caught on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson by TV executives who noticed some chemicals between her and Johnny. She starred as the wife of Hart's new character on the hit CBS sitcom The Bob Newhart Show from 1972 to 1978, appearing in all six seasons. She was nominated twice for an Emmy for Outstanding Lead Actress in a Comedy Series on Saturday night. She also played Emily Hartley in the final episode of the new comedy series A New Heart, in which viewers learned that the entire new series was her husband Bob's dream when he awoke next to her in the previous series' bedroom. Suzanne Suazanne's 1984 comedy Maggie Briggs was canceled after seven episodes. In 1989, Christine Broderick was her character in the NBC Nightingale's drama, which lasted one season. In 1990, Suzanne portrayed Leona Hemsley in the television film Leona Hemsley, My Queen, for which she received an Emmy nomination and a Golden Globe. She also starred opposite Lyndon in the 1994 sitcom Boys Are Back. In the first season of Good Morning Miami, she played the grandma of Mark Fernstein, Claire Arnold, and the mother of a catcher in the ABC sitcom. Karen Walker, Megan Molly's single mother, will appear in three episodes of Will and Grace. On January 31, 2008, she appeared on television in the Hollywood Walk of Fame. In the 2,355th Star Walks, as requested in front of the Frederick of Hollywood, Bob Newhart, R.J. Johnson, and Marsha Wallace at the Star Lunch, which was scheduled before her death. Lachette agent Joelle Dean stated on August 11, 2006 that she was being treated for lung cancer at Cedar sinai Medical Center. She arrived in a wheelchair at the Bob Newhart show in September 2007, sparking health worries after stating she did not have cancer in an interview with USA Today, which was displayed during a racket meeting and indicated she did. She had been released four days prior from the hospital, where part of one of her lungs had been removed as part of her cancer therapy. Instead of Suzanne, Tina Sinatra received a star award on behalf of her. She was later admitted to the hospital for pneumonia and contracted pneumonia, which required her to stay in the hospital for an extended period of time. Suzanne died at her home in Los Angeles on January 19, 2008, 12 days after her 71st birthday. At Hillside Memorial Park in Culver City, California, she is buried close to her third husband, Tom Poston, who died last year. Suzanne Plachette is afflicted by guilt. She has cancer and dreams about her husband, Tom Preston.